What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. No time for introductions or formalities, run to this point, we're doing a speed run here, and then run back here, throw a grenade at this box type thing, grenade jump up on top of it, and then jump up here, could take a little bit of practice, but it's right at the beginning of the level, so it's easy to get back to that point. And then just run to this doorway, and we're going to double back. What we're doing by running to that point and now to this point is get 343 Guilty Spark to move up. If you don't move to that point in the beginning and this point right here, Guilty Spark will just hover there forever and not go open the doors for you further in the level. So you'll get stuck in the bottom floor. And we want to go to the top floor to end the level. So we're 40-ish seconds in, 50 seconds. We skipped the whole first area, and we're skipping this area as well by doing that grenade jump and jumping over everything and then doubling back real quick. We despawned everybody in this section. So that's that. This is the Goat Roped Achievement Part 7 for the Master Chief Collection. This is to complete all of the Halo Combat Evolved campaign levels on Legendary in under three hours. So just stand here at this door. Guilty Spark will go do his thing. You're, uh, you're supposed to be fighting off a bunch of waves of flood, but they didn't spawn, so super easy. At this point, run to about here. Keep running, but throw a frag grenade in there. A bunch of people spawn. By a bunch, I mean like two or three. Or four, I guess. We got a overkill there. And there's always a guy with a shotgun. As you can see, I kind of paid attention to where the shotgun flew once the grenade went off and that way I could track it down the shotgun is essential for this level you could easily plow through a bunch of enemies so go this way hug the left immediately take a left and you can just run by all these people granted you'll have to shoot a bunch of them to keep them off your back and then don't get too concerned about them because you gotta turn around and pay attention to these people but drop down into this ditch there's overshield so you're invincible while your overshield is filling up, so that's nice. You could actually grenade jump up and out of that ditch to be a little bit quicker, but eh, it doesn't really save you that much time, so for the purposes of this guide, it's not worth it. The par time for this level is 20 minutes. So we want to get under 20 minutes. Oh god. You can see I didn't shoot those carrier forms, obviously, because they were right in front of me. If I did shoot them... They would have blown up in my face. Watch out here because there's a bunch of carrier forms. Don't get too close to them. And we're almost done with the first floor. There's a bunch of people that spawn here, so you want to throw a frag grenade about there. Take out as many as you can. See, I got a bunch right there. And make your way to the first elevator out of three. First floor done. Perfect. So again, as I was saying, you need to get the part-time for this level, which is 20 minutes. Or is it 25? I don't even know. I think it is 25. But just do that, and by getting the part-times, all the part-times collectively add up to 3 hours and 5 minutes. So if you get below the part-times on all the levels, you'll pretty much get the achievement for this. You just need to save 5 minutes overall. So for this part, go up here until it says defend the, this location or whatever until the monitor returns. You saw it pop up right there, that objective. And then just run back here and just sit up here. And since you didn't go all the way over there, the flood will not spawn. There's the carrier forms that were already there, but but the combat forms won't come out at you. Which is awesome, because those are the ones who pretty much are going to take take your shield down the most. And your health. And your life. So we're just waiting for Guilty Spark to, you know, do whatever he has to do. Update Facebook or Twitter or whatever he's doing. I don't know what he does. But you can see on the left of my radar, a yellow contact just came back. Came into existence, which is Guilty Spark coming back. And so now we could follow him. There's frags and health there you saw I just picked up. And he opens the door, so once you see him pop up again, you could go towards this door and go through it. Instead of going down that narrow pass on the right, I just went by. Just go over here 
you could avoid that whole encounter. Do a little jumpity jumps over these barriers. And we're going. We're going. Not much to say about this part. This next part, the door is going to open like halfway. And then we're going to have to defend ourselves from a bunch of infection forms. Which is easy to do, obviously. But in the interest of saving time, just grenade jump on top of here and just go through that way. You lose a little bit of health, so obviously if you have no health or very little health, don't do that because you'll die. But I had full health, so I'm comfortable doing that. Usually I kill at least one person with that grenade. That was terrible. Usually I'll get like three or four. But I guess I'll do it the hard way. One thing you want to watch out for in this level is the carrier forms blowing up and then causing a chain reaction from the grenades. I turned the boom skull off, which I had on for most of my run here for speedrunning. It's beneficial on a lot of levels, but this one really has no benefit. The only benefit is for the enemies because you'll, you'll be a lot more likely to die with it on. get out of here. Alright, turn to the right. There's going to be a flood form dropping down. You could run through this part, but I like to take it slow. You can see you could easily get overwhelmed here. My shield is almost all the way down, but I like to kill that guy with a shotgun and then throw a nade up there. And then go back and easily take out the rest of the people. And I'll just ignore him. Hug this part. Again, we're doing a hug and run. This part, you need to be aware of the people down the hallway that I'm looking at right now. There's two rocket-wielding flood down there. So I like to take out them both immediately so they don't kill me. And a good way to do that is to either shoot them directly or, better yet, just shoot the carrier forms near them and they'll blow up and kill both of them right away if they're close enough. This part, just run away. And you should be good. Nobody spawns in this hallway. There might be people following you, though, so be aware of that. There he is. And we're at the second elevator. There's nobody that spawns here. Like the first elevator, there's a ton of people that spawn right here, but not for this one, fortunately. And this is the second out of three elevators, so making good time here. There's carrier forms that like to stand on the edge of this, but don't be afraid of that. They just... Stand there and then they go away. So, you can kill them if you want, but I would save ammo. Jump up here. Third level out of four. Take out your pistol and zoom in. Take out this guy. He's always standing up there. You want to take out these guys from afar because they tend to, those two people up there especially, like to shoot at you from far away so they could chip away at your shields. And then you'll have none by the time you get over here. Grabbing some health. Some ammo frags. And then down here, do the same thing. Take out your pistol, because there's a bunch of flood combat forms down at the way end. And just tear into them. Weaken them up. So by the time you get over there, they're much easier to deal with. And they may respawn, but we're ready for it. Try not to get too close to that carry form. I, that was probably too close for comfort right there, because you can see that frag blew up when that carrier form blew up. So if there was a trail of frags leading to me, obviously the chain reaction would have killed me. I would have liked to been, I would have liked to have been a little bit further away than that, but it worked. This part, I like to throw a uh, plasma grenade in the corner I'm looking at right now. But I threw it way late there. And I throw another plasma grenade into the corner I'm in right now. But I totally forgot to do that part, so. Just uh, makes it a little bit easier. Definitely not essential. You can see I didn't do it, and 
I'm doing fine right now. Fortunately, this part is just full of carrier forms. You want to try to keep them to the right side. You don't want to have them blast to the left because if you get a bunch of them, you know, blowing up, they will start to blow all over the room and then you won't know where they are and one might land behind you and blow up and then you're dead, so that's not cool. But continue on this way. Throw a grenade there. I probably should have thrown a frag grenade. I usually do. And take out that rocket guy, because that rocket guy is always there, and he's your main priority. You don't want to go to this side. You want to go to the side I'm going to now to avoid that. And throw a plasma grenade right there at about that time, and those people will all die. Going around to the other side that I almost went accidentally is actually a lot safer, because none of these people spawn. But it takes longer, because you have to go all the way around the perimeter Instead of just taking those two barriers, you have to take like six or whatever. I don't know. But there's more health and ammo and frags right here. And I actually died right here, which is why my time went up a little bit all of a sudden. I know I suck. But watch out for that uh, ditch right there. There's always a bunch of people that come out of that ditch. They jump up at you like that one did. There's usually like three or four. I don't know why there was only one that time, but whatever. Stop it. Stop it. Alright. I'm not pushing through at this point because I don't have a shield. Now I'm going. And just hug the left and a bunch of people will spawn. You've done this before. Take a wide berth from those carrier forms. The big fatty fats. I am almost dead. Never fear though. We're only heading into one of the hardest sections of the level. But there's some health right here, and frags. And there's a very, very handy skip, which we're going to go over here into this corner, and we're just going to sit here for like a minute and a half. And that's all we're going to do. You sit here, they don't even notice you. They're real dumb. They'll come out. You can see them all on my radar, all those red contacts. They're just going to stand there, though. So I guess I could take this time. I always, when I, whenever I do a guide on the library, I take this time sitting here for a minute and a half to talk about this channel, give it a little plug. So this channel is the Halo Completionist channel, or just Halo Completionist, and the main idea behind it is it's going to be, it's going to be a central hub for all the Halo achievements and Halo commendations. So that includes Halo Reach and Halo 4 commendations. The only games with commendations in it so far. And uh, obviously, I have a lot of work to do with the Master Chief Collection, let alone all the other Halo games I have on Backlog. But that's the uh, general idea. If you have any specific requests, I'll definitely prioritize them since i kind of doing them at random at this point. So I'm focusing on the Master Chief Collection, obviously, right now. But otherwise, the Backlog, I'm going through at random. So definitely subscribe if you're interested in any of that nonsense. But anyway, that's enough of that. Once the door starts opening, you can move on up. And I actually died right up ahead here, which I have never done, but I always forget about these enemies, so it's a surprise that I've never died until this point. But there's a ton of enemies that come out right here. And you can see I was prepared that time, but the time right before this I died, which is again why my... Time went up a little bit. It always lulls me to sleep that minute and a half where I'm just sitting in that room and not doing anything. And then you just run around the corner and, oh, wow, there's like 12 people here. Awesome. So definitely, uh, you know, be on the lookout for those guys. Throw a grenade like I did in this run through. And uh, take them out. They're not hard right there because you could obviously just throw a nade and it takes out most of them. But it's just the fact that they come out, they come around a corner and... I'm never prepared for him. I'm always thinking about something else. But we're on the last level here now. Watch out for these carrier forms. Take a wide berth right there because there's a couple lined up on the wall there. There was health also. If you walked forward, you could see it. If you rewind it, you could see it too. You'll know what I'm talking about. 
These guys, don't worry about them. Just kill them. And you don't want to go into the ditch, which you're supposed to do by design. We're going to do another grenade jump right here. And here we go. Just jump through here and run across. We're going to do the same thing we did in that other section where we just stand there. Grab the health. There's some ammo and what have you on the ground there as well. We're going to do a little bit more standing. It's not too bad. It's good for your posture. But again, Guilty Spark's doing something. We don't know what. Probably being a loser, am I right? I mean, God, he flies around by himself for like 100,000 years. No one wants to talk to him. He's just a freak. Freaky guy. But anyway, I digress. I shouldn't be making fun of him. I'm not angry at him yet. That's the next level. Where is he? Actually, in the book, uh, the Master Chief is pretty pissed off at him in this level. Throwing it out there. There's some health down there if you need it. You're probably all set since you just got health. But, the but you know, it's right there if you need it. Ignore those medals. I just died again. And they were left over from my previous life. Watch out <coughs> for these people up here. But behind you can see there's a bunch of people on my radar that spawn. Don't worry about them. They're just carrier forms. They are slow mofos. They will not catch up to you. Just run over here. Throw a grenade there for style. Kill some people. This door opens, it stops, and it starts to open a little bit more. So you want to wait for that to happen before you grenade jump up and through here, or else you will miss the grenade jump. You could run straight to the beam of light to end the level, but I like to go around here, especially when I have plenty of time left over, because they don't spawn at first. You can see when I grenade jump through there, but they will spawn as you make your way over there. So that way, when I go to the left, they... None of them spawn over there, so it's totally safe in that area. But that is all, guys. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment, do a barrel roll, and I will see you for two betrayals, which is definitely the most trying skill-wise and just random-wise. A lot could go wrong in that level, so I'll see you for that one.